Would you like a beautiful tree topper like this one? Continue watching and I will show you how. The supplies you would need would be various of ribbons. I use six to eight rows of ribbon. Make sure the ribbon is 2.5 inches wide and make sure they're at least 24 feet long. Floral wire or zip ties to keep the ribbon together. Scissors will be needed as well as measurement. Things such as ruler or a cutting mat that has measurements on them would be lovely to use in this. So first I've did the top of the bow, the 12 inches. You already see I've done that one. So we're gonna put that to the side. Next, I'm doing the middle. This one, I wanted to use a gold champagne type ribbon with rose gold to bring out that crimson. And this one would be 14 inches long. This would go into the middle of the bow. If you will see at the end what I reference. But this ribbon was 18 feet long and I really was only able to make one part of the bow with this 18 feet so that is the reason why I explain at least have ribbon that is at least you know 18 feet long I suggest using four loops on each side to make your bow fuller. Cut the loops from the leftover ribbon. When you're done making the loops, cinch the bow in the middle and that is where you will place your zip tie or wiring. Since this ribbon is so thin, I just wanted to use wiring and did not cut it. So I cinched it in the middle and just tied the floral wiring around the bow to secure it. So this is the last and bottom part of the bow. These loops would need to be 16 inches to make sure that bow is large and full. Make your three to four loops. Now I was able to buy this ribbon at Michael's after Christmas. I was able to get a great deal on this ribbon four dollars for like nine ribbons so if you can try to remember to get this ribbon after Christmas if possible um, go to Hobby Lobby that's how I got the champagne ribbon See how I cut the ribbon because this one was a little thicker and I wanted to make sure the floor wiring stayed so for that one cut in the middle of the ribbon loops and twist that floor wiring around that bow that bottom part of the bow don't be afraid to tight Tighten the bow. Don't do it too tight, but don't be afraid. And then you will stack all three of those bows you've created together. I needed to use another wiring, so I cut some more wiring and made sure those three were secured all together. And with this big bow, you will need to make another bow like this one for the back of the tree. And you would simply 
just replicate this bow. Now currently I am filling this out, fluffing the ribbon loops, making sure I build that bow, fluff it out, make the loops more bolder, distinctive with this sheer ribbon oh it was terrible to try to fluff out so if you do get some thin ribbon try to take it really easy I know I tore this ribbon a couple of times but it came out great next make the tails of the bow I only use two sets of ribbon so I am just going to use two tails on each side for the bow and I made sure the tails were two feet but you can make however long you would like your tails to be so there are two feet on each side but they could have been shorter tails make sure you cut them to make them cute cut them any type of way and then get some floral wiring So that floral wiring can be another secure way to keep the tail and the bow together. Just show you, and you see how I replicated the two bows. And you can tie them with the wiring that was left over on each bow tie them like you would tie a shoestring and that is how you make the bow fluff it out as long as you need to and I'm telling you eventually it's going to come out how you want it to come out beautiful festive just like this one thanks for watching